So I'd like to just touch base with you all, um, just, you know, discuss the exam. I just finished reviewing all of them, and overall they were very good. Um, the class average was like a 93, so we had a lot of hundreds, uh, a lot in the 90s, a lot in the 80s. Uh, keep in mind, I don't want to rain on your parade, but again, the most important exams are the midterm and the final because you have to have a passing average on those two. Uh, those two exams are to be taken at either a testing center um, or some other, I guess, uh, place where someone can verify your identity. But ideally, the testing center is the easiest spot because they have information, they have passwords, they have everything they need there. Um, you can also do it online with ProctorU. But all that information is there in the midterm exam information tab. You know, just uh, look up the proctored midterm, and it's all explained in there. And there's links to testing centers uh, to proctor you and all that. So, but that that's the key. Uh, you know, with the proctored exam, you don't have, you know, extra help. You have your formula sheet that you can take with you, but that's it. So make sure you're ready for it. Um, you know, you've got the right triangle stuff starting now. You've got a week to complete the right triangle section, then another week to complete the circuit portion and the quiz. And then you've got four or five days to get ready for the midterm. So your midterm is due uh, March 6th. Uh, it can be taken any time before that, but that's the last day that uh, it's open for. <clears throat> so with all that being said, make sure you're doing what you need to do to prepare for that midterm. Uh, take the midterm practice. Uh, it's the same pool of questions as for the midterm exam. So therefore, if you do well on the midterm practice, you should do well on the midterm exam. You know, as you review for the midterm, um, do not use your book. Only use your formula sheet or your notes. Whatever sheet you create to take with you is what you should use to practice with because that's all you'll have on the day of the test. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of it. Now, there were about, I don't know, nine or ten of you all who did not take exam one. Now, out of those nine or ten, a couple of you have not done anything since like the pretest. So it's possible you dropped or you're just not working. But there was a few of y'all that have been working. So I'm just curious as to maybe you missed the due date. Um, if you did, you're not reading your email. So, you know, if you need to, uh, get that exam extended, you need to let me know. Okay. So that's it. So, you know, great job on exam one, but keep in mind, it's a little different when you go to a testing center to take an exam where you can't look back at your notes. Okay. So be crafty, be smart, um, whatever you want to call it, be prepared and, and put on your cheat sheet or your notes, whatever you want to call it, stuff that's going to help you that you can find easily, okay? So I'll, this still several weeks off, um, but I just want to get you in the mode of, of getting ready for that midterm because I want all y'all to pass. <clears throat> um, also keep in mind, I do have virtual office hours on Wednesday nights, seven to eight. So if you need to, you know, have a back and forth conversation with me, that's a good time to do it. Uh, so anyway, uh, good luck, get to work, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.